A very, very good evening to everyone. So, oh. How sweet. So, I'm, um, this is our fourth destination. So, we've been traveling over the US last uh, week and a half. And I have to say, this truly is the warmest audience. So east or west, Dallas is the Okay, this, my DJ friend is like really excited. <laughs> He's putting this music on. Yeah, thank you. We don't need to lose it though. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, this, this is truly such an amazing turnout. I didn't know Dallas made this hare Indian hair. <laughs> so I'm really happy. Um, I feel like I'm in India, really. It's so wonderful. Um, so women empowerment, huh? What can I say about women empowerment? All the men are suddenly cringing. They're like, oh. <laughs> Uh, so to all the men, we don't need a day to celebrate us. We're very powerful already. Yeah, women? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think what, what makes the men even more special is that, is that they give us the love to enjoy that power. So while we are celebrating women empowerment and we have so many amazing men here. I really hope that in the future things change in all those homes that don't give the women the power and y'all intend on, you know, making your women flourish and feel even more confident, be the wind beneath their wings. So on this day, I'd like to give you guys a round of applause for all the ones who've, you know, been so wonderful to their wives, to their sisters, to their mothers, to all of them. And um, I, I, I don't want to just talk about women empowerment or empowerment in a feminist sort of way. I, uh, I really think empowerment comes with knowledge. It comes with uh, understanding. And I think right now the most important thing that I have uh, uh, learned to understand is the importance of health. And I want to take this opportunity to introduce to all of you the newest thing that I'm doing in my life. Uh, it has nothing to do with business. It's, it's just my way of kind of uh, giving back to all the people who have shown me so much love over the years. I think uh, it's my way of showing them gratitude that I, wanna, I want people to value their health and I want I want people to understand how important health is and how it should be looked after. And we should reach a point of no return, like we end up with diabetes and high blood pressure and you know cholesterol and then we suddenly look back and we're like, oh, we'll have to make these changes now because we're down with an ailment. So I really, through the Shilpa Shetty uh, website, shilpashetty.com, the shilpashetty.com, this is for all those people who don't know that I am on YouTube. I'm, I think, the first um, Indian celebrity to be a YouTuber. It's a lot of hard work, trust me. Um, but I'm only doing it. It's a one-stop health uh, portal where people will get to, you know, learn yoga. Um, we teach them what to do when you have pain. So pain management, um, how to cook nutrition and what to do to maintain your weight, you know. So I think more people are running after uh, weight loss rather than emphasizing on fitness. So I really hope people change uh, the way they think and empower themselves with the knowledge of good health and how to attain it. So while while I'm in, I'm in this amazing company of all you wonderful people, I can't just address only all the women. I think the women obviously are in a far more important position over here because the health of their families are in their hand. They're looking after their children, they're looking after their husbands, in-laws, 
or their own parents if they're not married. I just think that it's such an important position to be in. And if you have that knowledge of how to look after your family, what kind of eating habits we should inculcate in our children, I think it'll go a really long way. So you are actually empowering your family, your own children, with that knowledge. Do you know Hindi here? Yes. Do you know Hindi here? Yes. So when we come to the house of a big man, we give our children the values of their children, that you can be a big man, you can be a good man, you can be a good man, and we get some brownie points, that we get so good, it's so wealthy, she's brought up the child. It's really wonderful. But nobody really pays that much importance to the values of eating. Do we ever tell our child that don't eat too much sweet? Do we ever tell our child? Do we? Yes. How much, how much is too much? <laughs> how much is too much? Yeah. Yeah, see, but too late now. <laughs> so I'm like, don't drink um, aerated water, uh, you know, aerated drinks. Who says that? I get very upset, I see children, barely five and six, and they're sitting on a dinner table and ordering for aerated drinks. You know? It's a really terrible thing. And why are they doing it? Because they're seeing their parents do it. So I have a lecture here, I have to say this, that if you are doing something wrong with your body, with your eating habits, then it will never be seen and it will be seen. So I really hope that in the future, and the reason I am also saying all of this is that I really think that there are very few moments in which we can really do something good. It's great for me to just come here and say hi, hello, and you know, uh, go back and remember all you lovely people, and you all will remember me, and we'll take a few pictures and all of that. But what will you, what will you remember me saying? I hope someday that you, you know, you you look back and you say, oh, you know, Shilpa said this, and this has made a big difference in my life. So I'd rather you go back with better memories of me being here. If I can play a small catalyst in. Uh, in bringing better health. And I really want to make this a movement. If I tell you, you go tell someone else, someone else tells somebody else, you know? It's it's just going to pay it forward. And like in my channel, I always say, swastro, mastro. So with that, I've ended with my lecture. <laughs> and I really think that um, there is nothing more empowering than good health, really. And I truly believe that we are very blessed uh, to have good health. Um, and what else? You know, health is something we are given our lives uh, for such a bargain. We get it for free. That's why I think we don't value it. But uh, it's time we, we kind of start taking care of ourselves and uh, look great for our families, look, you know, healthier, be healthier for our families, for our children. And that's that's going to make a better world. Hena, Bindu, you want to take the mic from me because I can yes, go on and on. Yes, yes. You could Did go you on and on. Mujhe lagta hai they don't want to hear me. They would love to hear you. And you know, I have to say one thing. You're only thing. like, you're only like shock. I, I have to say one thing. I've worked with so many actresses before.